evening and welcome to Atlanta Live. It's the Thursday evening edition right here from beautiful Atlanta, Georgia tonight. I'm Josh Franks, my lovely, beautiful, marvelous, fantastic, wow. gorgeous wife, Ashley Franks, my co-host tonight. That was really nice. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. I'll take my $20 uh -huh. now, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're glad to be with you. We're going to have a fun time tonight. Mm -hmm. We've got some special musical guests. Mm -hmm. We're going to be uh, singing. They're going to be singing. We've got gospel music history, gospel music heritage. Uh, we've just got it all. Generational uh, tonight here in the room. It's just going to be a fun time tonight. It and always is. It always is. And we're certainly glad that you're watching. Now, we want you to get your cup of coffee. We want you to get that piece of cake out. And uh, we want to be just like we're sitting in your living room with right. you tonight. And uh, we just want you to kick back and relax and enjoy the music, the message. Maybe something we'll say. Maybe something we'll say. Uh, maybe something someone else will say or say will be a great encouragement to you tonight. Uh, there are phone operators standing by. If you have a prayer request or a prayer need, you can call that number there that you see on the screen. We'd love to pray with you. Our whole mission and our whole purpose of being here tonight is number one, to uplift the Lord Jesus Christ and to give him the glory and the honor and the praise. And second of all, we want to make sure that the people of God are edified and those who don't know the Lord Jesus Jesus, maybe we can point them to Christ tonight. That would be our goal and our purpose. And that's what we want to do. We just want to point people to the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, we're living in a, in a crazy world right now. We're living in a different generation than we've ever lived in before. But one thing is for certain, our Lord remains the same. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And what he's done for one, he'll do for another. And I want to tell you, he saved me, redeemed me, wrote my name with the Lamb's book of life. He brought me out of the sinking sand that I was in, set my foot upon the solid rock, and now here I am proclaiming the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. And I want you to know he can lift you up tonight as well. Whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're going through right now, Jesus will lift you up. It's going to be a fun night. You don't want to go anywhere. Sing, Ashley. I call to God from the depths of sin, a hope I had left was in Him. I had messed up, failed, and fallen once again. He heard my cry and desperate plea, mercy and grace was given me. His loving hand reached down and raised me to my feet.
because of what the Lord has done for me and the great gift that he has given today, I stand before you victorious by the blood of the Lamb. I've got victory. I pray you have the victory as well. You see, we've all had our troubles that have brought battle scars. And this warfare we're fighting, sometimes it gets hard. And so many are falling to the left and the right. But we're not defeated, hallelujah. We're not losing the fight. up you can't give in and you can't stop now but you gotta press on through man that's a good song i love it? that song i'll tell you that just gets my my tractor cranked up <laughs> i get excited when i get to singing that one hey we got special guests yes. tonight we better get to that or i'll i'll get carried away here and lose track no, of time we gotta get out of the way well, we gotta get out mm -hmm. of the way for these folks to come well, you know what i don't want to do that yet i'll uh -oh. tell you what i want to do i want us just to welcome them and let's talk to them before they sing sure. tonight let's let the people see them and let's talk Okay, to yeah. for a moment, all right? This is gospel music history right there. Yeah. They're inducted into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame, and uh, they've been a part of gospel music for many years, a wonderful family of gospel music. So let's welcome to Atlanta Live tonight, the Neelands. Here they come. <laughs> Our hey, friends, the Neelands, are in the room. Good to see you. Oh, you know what? We ain't supposed to do all this well, hugging and all. That's right. Because of social media. Sorry, I take that back. Have a seat. Let's sit down and talk a little while. We're so happy to see you guys. Oh, it's great and, to uh, be here. Thank we're you. Just, we've been looking forward to this. We're going to have a fun time tonight. Y'all sound great, by the I way. Oh, really? Fantastic. Seriously. 
Thanks. You don't need a baritone, do you? Are well, you heard? well, you know what? Uh, uh, you know, we had lunch together here yeah. this afternoon, right. and with the way that I see these ladies are treating you, uh, I, I can understand why you want a job now. I work cheap. I work cheap. Right. Josh, some things you just need to <laughs> keep it secret. <laughs> Supposed to tell everything you well, know. Well, we got right. a whole lot to talk about uh -huh. tonight, after that lunch today. There's a lot of things we got to say. Lots of pictures we want to show. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. The Neelands have been through the ringer here in the last couple of years, yeah. but God's faithful. It? Oh, my he is. He's yeah. been good to us. Still and, standing. Uh, I tell mm -hmm. people that all the time. I said, you know what? If last year was tough for everybody, globally, yeah. really. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, but, uh, but especially within the community of gospel music, you know, I know you can relate with this. Yes, yes. Uh, all the cancellations, concerts, mm -hmm. and, and then I had open heart surgery last year. On yeah. top of that, had knee surgery. Wow. Uh, my dad went in, the renal failure. So our family, we just were huddled around each other, wow. you know. But after all of that time and all of those trials and all that, what seemed like loss, here we are in yeah. February yeah. still standing by His grace yeah. and for His glory. Truth? And that Isn't should it? give us courage for tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, I was thinking about just a couple of days ago the faithfulness of God and how good that God has been. And then a few minutes ago we were talking and you said you'd been in gospel music for 44 years. 44 so years. you've seen the changes through gospel music, you've seen the changes throughout the, the world, right. uh, but you see the faithfulness of God. Absolutely. And, uh, uh, this, what a blessing. This was a trying year. I mean, uh, I don't, sure. you know, I really wanted to talk to my daddy, you know, and just yes. say, did you ever go through anything like this? And how was it? And how did you make it? But, but God has been faithful. He has provided for us. Yes. And uh, um, we're just thankful Absolutely. to still be able to sing. Absolutely. And for those of you that are watching right now, the Neelands have a rich history in gospel okay. music. Kelly's dad, who is a gospel music hall of famer, uh, Rex Neelan, uh, well, really joined the Lefevers. And right. Then from Sang there. with them for 20 years. Wow. Yeah. That long. I didn't long realize time, it. And yeah. then the name kind of switched over to the Rex Neelan singers and then the Neelans. And right. really, Kelly came along. She became the superstar. <laughs> oh, I know. no. Became the queen of gospel music. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so Rex had to take his name off and just have the Neelans. That's, okay. That's what it came down. <laughs> but you, you're father was such an inspiration to so many and uh, to see you and then the next generation now the third generation yeah your daughters amber and autumn autumn's down there and uh, just, on waiting the end. just waiting She's to just talk just waiting to talk, waiting to talk. Can see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then amber. Yeah, she, uh, autumn always wanted to be growing up we'd always try to get her sing she would never sing in front of a live audience really wouldn't happen She'd always tell her, this is a true story, she'd always say, I want to be a singing Walmart greeter. That's how, what she was a saying. A singing she Walmart was, greeter. Yeah. Well, yeah, there you go. And, and, and not only have you seen changes through the gospel music world, you've seen changes in your own personal life. You've went from traveling on the 45-foot bus to having 55 acres and a farm. Now, tell <laughs> right. us all about that. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I mean, I, I would have never dreamed that I would have been on a farm. Never. I mean, it's just like... I I lived in the city, I lived in Atlanta, then we moved to Smyrna, Metro Atlanta, and so city is just my middle name. Yeah. And so being out there, if it gets dark, you better go home. That's right. Because there are no lights. I mean, it's just the light of the sky, the moon. It's dark, so, isn't it? Right. <laughs> I mean, we, you've, got, you've got out to the place to where a little cell service, uh, hardly any internet. Right. I mean, you're just, you're really Kelly living is it up. really suffering. Her internet is slow. <laughs> she is oh, no. I mean, it's a big sacrifice. It, it really is. I mean, when that, when it buffers 15 times a night for oh, TV, yeah. Yeah it's, yeah, it's bad. It's bad, it's bad. <laughs> oh, that's great. So tell me, uh, uh, how did you get started in singing gospel music? I mean, I know your dad was singing, but what brought you into play? Well, I always wanted to, and, and he knew that, and he, you know, he would always have me sing all the time, and, and so when I was 13 years old, the Lefevers had a girl that left, and they were at a camp meeting in Lexington, Kentucky, and so um, I, he called my mom and said, I need for you to put Kelly on a plane to come up here and fill in. Um, for the for the girl singer and I was so thrilled. I, wow. I mean, I'm doing cartwheels in the living room. I'm still just 13 years old, so I mean, I'm still like a park girl, little girl, you know, growing <laughs> up. And I'm just thrilled and and uh, got to go up there and sing my first note uh, with the Lefevers at 13. Wow. So. wow. 
And how did you get involved in gospel music? Well, I was raised in it, obviously, yeah. with my dad and my right. family. But I had my first uh, experience singing professionally and playing professionally for a quartet called the Singing America. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I went to Stamps Baxter School of Music that was hosted many years uh, by Ben Spear. And I, that was where I met Bill Gaither and Ben Spear all in the same week. Wow. And I was 17 years old. And Charlie Burke, the owner of the Singing Americans, yes. called Ben and said, hey, I need a bass player that can sing a little baritone. He said, we just met this kid. I went and auditioned the next day. Wow. And they said I was good enough to at least go on the road. And then they hired me a couple weeks later. But our first concert was back at the Stamps Baxter School of Music. So it was kind of full circle. Wow. You know. It was great advertisement for the school being yeah. used at yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And then, uh, now I always like to tell this. This is, this is uh -oh. kind of my thing, you know. Uh, I have no idea where this is going. Well, I, I started <laughs> oh, no. promoting gospel music when I was 15 years old. And I always like to tell everybody uh, that my, because my favorite uh, when it comes to gospel music, my favorite is family harmony. Yeah. That's always been my favorite, you know. Right. And so it's what I cut my teeth. We like that. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> and so I tell everybody my first professional gospel group that I ever promoted was the Neelands. Mm -hmm. I was 15 yeah. years old and my mother and daddy had no idea that I'd booked a gospel concert, <laughs> signed a contract without their permission, was underage. The contract <laughs> wasn't even legit when I signed it. So, <laughs> so well, we got paid. But you didn't know it anyway. Yes, didn't know. And, uh, and, and it's, it's amazing. Your mama had a heart attack before you got paid. But. Yeah, she sure <laughs> did. I, I got beat a couple of times on that oh, one. No. But, but we had we had a tremendous concert yeah. and and it, and it, it was it was life changing and from then on I've been able to promote gospel music wow. ever You've since. You've done such a great job. And, well, thank you. Well, you're very kind. But it's it's uh, it's amazing how things just come in full circle. And yeah. here we are still uh, 20 years. years later. Wow. 20 years wow. later. And you still look 15. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> this God, is is so, I just want to thank you, Lord. <laughs> well, Kelly looks no older than she did it. then, I too. Know. I mean, you guys yeah. are drinking from the same just well. Don't, but... don't look too close. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just call that knowing the Lord, Jason. That's, right. That's all yeah. I can yeah. say. Clean living. Just, just try it. Right. Just try it. <laughs> so tell it. us, uh, life on the farm and and, and, of course, things have been shut down. Yeah. What's in the future for the Neelands? I know you've recorded a new record. Yeah. You've got that out. Tell us what's happening. We're going to sing some from the new record tonight, but we have our we have a, a an event center at our farm, oh, Clark yeah. and Neeland Farms, and right there in Rootville, Georgia. It's outside of Carrollton. And we've been doing some gospel concerts and some dinner shows, and we've got uh, all kinds of great artists, The Sound, Wes Hampton from the vocal band That's coming awesome. this year, and a few more. And so we've been doing that when we're at home. Of yes. course, then we're farming and doing those kind of things. But we're starting to inch our way back out on the road. That's great. And uh, so it's starting to pick up a little bit. Yeah, and, and one of the things that kept us going during this whole pandemic thing was the farm. Yeah. Uh, we, right. I, I don't cook. I, I do not cook. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, Amen. I, I, I don't. I've never even planted a garden in my entire life until this last year. And so we planted a garden and um, we planted some of my favorite things that I like to eat, like cucumbers and tomatoes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, some other things. But anyway, we, Amber had the idea. Uh, actually, I think it was a friend of ours, Melody, really? had the idea that we could um, take those cucumbers and make pickles. And yes. We had fruit trees on our farm and Absolutely. we made jams. And his mama taught us how to make the jams and can. I'm just like old time. I'm an old time. <laughs> and so we did that. But I have never grown a garden. And so I planted those cucumbers thinking that cucumbers would just grow like three or four. I didn't know that cucumbers would spread from Georgia to New York. I mean, <laughs> those vines. <laughs> their vines went forever. I didn't know that. But um, every day I'd go out and look, and I'd think, well, maybe that's not quite big enough. If you don't get them that day, the next day they're this big. Oh, yes. Right. Yes. You are right. Yes. Anyway, we started doing the, the pickles and the jams and, and started. She went from gospel music queen to the pandemic pickle queen. Yes. <laughs> You do what you got to do. You do what you got to do. reminds me of the story of the Andy Griffith show and the pickles, oh you know. That's right. I remember that. Is that, that. Is that what it is? That's it. Nobody liked them. Yeah. Nobody, Nobody liked them. Nobody <laughs> liked them. But everybody likes your pickles. Everybody right? likes them. Uh, they do like what? my pickles. Okay, well, that's, that's all. Well, so how did you bring me some? I know. Yeah, we, we would have. have. We, we like pickles. So, so you've been doing that, but you got a new record. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you're you're gonna you're back on the road little by yeah. little. Right. And where can they find all the information about the venue, the record, your pickles? Where do they find all that? 
all of that is at our website. We have a venue website and then places you can go order the farm stuff and our new record at thekneelands.com. Thekneelands.com. So check that out, www.thekneelands.com. All right, here's what we're going to do. We want you guys to sing for us. Yeah. And you're going to sing some of the new yeah. songs. All this is from right. the record, yeah. And uh, so this is really good. Hey, thank you for watching the Atlanta Live tonight. If you're just now tuning in, uh, we have the Neelands here on the set with us. They're getting ready to sing. For those of you watching uh, here in the Atlanta, the greater Atlanta area, thank you for tuning in. For those of you that are watching online, wherever that you may watch watch from, uh, whether it be YouTube, Facebook, whatever, share this video yes. right now. Share, share, share. Click, click that share button and so that we can uh, allow everyone to hear this great That's music. Right. And, of course, the great message that we have to give tonight. So we're going we're gonna to let you sing. All right, all are you right. ready to do, let's it? do it? You girls ready to sing down there? Ready. All right, I'm let's ready. welcome the Neelands yeah. back to the Atlanta Live set tonight. One of the most beautiful words that you're ever going to hear is a word called grace. Many songs have been written about it. We wanted to write just one more. Hope you like it. Listen. The 
Tonight, friends, Jesus Christ is the one true liberator. He can set you free from whatever has you captive, whatever has you bound tonight. He can break those chains. We are free in Christ in spite of our circumstances surrounding us. I want you to listen to a very powerful song that says a statement, still free.
even say other than I wow. say Amber's just showing off. I there. say she's showing <laughs> off too. Wow, that was incredible. Yeah. Our friends, the Neelands, there. You're watching Atlanta Live from beautiful Atlanta, Georgia, Thursday night edition. Josh and Ashley Franks, your host here. I hope those of you that are at home are enjoying this half as much as we're enjoying ourselves here in this studio tonight. And I hope those of you that are watching us wherever in the world you may be watching from, whether on Facebook, YouTube, wherever, thank you so very much for watching tonight. If you want to learn more about the Neelands, you can find them online at thenealands.com. So check that out. What you think, Ashley? You think that's good or what? I think it's better than good. You know, we got a lot of folks watching tonight mm -hmm. and uh, they want to see hey, our next guest because we've got a special mm -hmm. guest here. Uh, someone else who was really born and raised in this music. They have a history and a heritage and not only in gospel music, uh, but they kind of cross over into some country music as well. A little bit. And uh, this one's near and dear to you and your, yeah. your sweet friend. Won't you introduce to uh, our Atlanta Live audience tonight our next guest? Sure, awesome. So I would like to welcome tonight someone who has been so gracious to me. The Lord crossed our paths probably a little over a year ago, yep. and it was just an instant thing. So I'm super excited to welcome my friend tonight, Miss Kenna Turner West. Kenna Turner West. Yay. Welcome. Yay. Isn't this fun? Yay. What about them Neelands? Are they singing tonight or what? Listen, and Kelly knows this to be true. Uh, when I was 13, I used to sing in my hairbrush to her records. She might have been 16. And then when I was 16, I would try to sing her songs. I couldn't hit the notes. But boy, did I flounder with conviction. Wow. You know? and when I first started singing, it was her song that I sang. It was a song of hers called He Is Love. Wow. I, I'm such a fan. And How now, about that? Now I get to write with her daughter. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. That's great. Kenna is, for those of you who don't know, Kenna uh, is gospel music royalty when it comes That's to right. songwriting. And uh, she has a great history in gospel music. Her dad, Ken Turner, sang with the fabulous Blackwood Brothers for how many years? Do you oh, remember? Man. I don't remember. A bunch. I was seven when he went there. So, um, well, I used to, some kids have a lemonade stand. I had a record table out by my home, but I wouldn't yes. sell them. I would just hold them up to I, the neighbors. I, I, you know, one time when Priscilla dad. was small, she came in the kitchen and she lined all of her toys up and she said, Okay, mom, you can have any three of your toys for $20. Is that <laughs> right? <laughs> You've heard that before. <laughs> Once or twice. That's hilarious. Any three for $20. Oh, three that of is your hilarious. Toys. So, so, your dad, Ken Turner, and then uh, who else? Well, uh -huh. my husband, Carrie, we've been married 29 years almost. Uh, his mother was a country singer named Dottie West. Yes, yes. She just went into the Hall of Fame, the Country Music Hall of Fame, a couple of years ago. Yes. And what people don't know, I mean, people know her music. She was the first woman in country music to ever win a Grammy in 64. Wow. That's when yep. I was born. What they don't know is Easter before she passed away on Labor Day, my husband wasn't my husband then. We were just friends. But he was playing Jesus at our church Easter wow. production. Wow. And she came to watch him. And she sat in the back, had a white suit on and a red shirt with a flower. I remember, because I, I, I see the videos. Mm -hmm. We have the videos. Wow. And the pastor opened up the altar for anybody that uh, that would want to come. And my husband had the privilege, dressed like Jesus, walking his mom Incredible. to the front of the church and hearing her confess Jesus as Lord. And That's she awesome. that was Easter. And then she was in a car accident yes. on Labor Day weekend. Yes, yes. But that's a very tender thing to yes. hold in your heart because yes. he always has that memory. We have the video of it, and wow. it's kind of beautiful. That, that really rocked country music, the country music world in her Yeah, past. I think, you know, she was at the generation where, um, like, uh, there are pictures of um, Roger Miller and Willie Nelson and Chris Christopherson and all those guys at their house writing songs. And, and a picture of Elvis and her, he came to, to her backstage kind of wow. thing at a show of hers in, in Las Vegas. and and. And I met her once. I was about 13, and I walked up. I had a, a program and a pen. I was backstage. <laughs> Somehow we got back there because Daddy. And all I could do, y'all, all I could do is go to 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 ah ah ah. And she said I'd be happy to. <laughs> yeah. uh, she knew. Wow. So I got to meet her once, and that's very sweet. We yeah. eat at her kitchen table every day. Wow, that's incredible. So so let's let's uh, let's fast forward a little bit. You married your husband, and uh, now uh, here you are writing songs. How many, 20, what, nine years, 26 years? Almost 29. 29 years, and here you are writing songs, uh, gospel music, uh, and, and even dip over every once in a while, write a country pen or two, I'm sure, don't you? 
Oh, maybe. <laughs> I, I, we always jokingly say, but if I wrote a song that wasn't necessarily Jesus-centered, is sure. it love-focused and can I sing it to my preacher? Yeah. So it may be a couple of those. Mostly yeah. mostly it's, it's Christian music because yeah. that's just... You know, if I'm singing on the road or if I'm teaching or if I'm writing songs, it's all under this, what I feel like my calling is, y'all, right. is to just creatively communicate the gospel. Yeah. And so it might be writing songs five days a week at home in Nashville or um, I've been singing for 38 years. It's just I've never done it within the industry, so yeah. people aren't aware. But whatever it is, it's always been, since I came to Christ at 18, everything I do, it's always been... Uh, Promoting the kingdom, Absolutely. everything. It, Absolutely. It's, uh, what a well, joy. Well, that's what's important. And, uh, and you're doing that not only in your songwriting, uh, and you've had some wonderful songs through the years, and God's really given you a talent and ability to write. Uh, and that is a talent. That is Absolutely. an ability, you know. Um, I can stand up here and, and get behind the pulpit, and I can, I can holler and scream for 30 and 45 <laughs> minutes and it takes me that long to get a point. And across. all of our church people said amen. No, I was just thinking it. <laughs> if they amen. I'm watching and listening. But, but for someone yeah. like Kenna, she can take an ink pen and a piece of paper and she can write down in three to four minutes what it takes me 30 minutes to say. Yeah. And that's a gift and that's a talent. Yeah. I uh, do look at it like that, Josh. Yeah. I look at it like a, a three and a half minute message. Sure. I don't want to say sermon, but but even the songs that tell a story, it's for a purpose. Absolutely. Like when you preach, um, the whole point is to get to the application. Right. So the Word becomes alive. It's not just something that God did for somebody, these stories you right. tell. It's what God can do for them. Absolutely. Right. And that's what you preach, and that's what Ashley and I do. If we're writing songs, we write some. Yeah. Uh, and I just love her. Um, thank you for marrying such oh. a sweet girl. Oh, feelings me. <laughs> I'm glad she begged me to marry her. I'm really thankful for that. Oh, my word. But it is, it's exciting because it might be something we saw on a billboard or it might be something a preacher said. Or for me, I'm in school right now working on a master, so it might be something I read in a book or my co-writer heard their pastor say. And it's something that's... Um, that's special to us. Yeah. And we'll sit in a room, we'll have a cup of coffee about 10 o'clock, and about 10, 15, we start moving toward that song. And and a lot of times what will dictate what we write is, well, who's looking right now, and how can we then take that story and put it in a three-and-a-half-minute package that yeah. serves their ministry? Because yeah. they're going to be singing it over the body Sir. of Christ Sir. and the lost for, and if, it's a, if it's a pretty big song for them, maybe years. Um, and it's a joy to chase that down. Absolutely. With your best friends. Well, and you, you were mentioning that a few moments ago uh, about, you know, you just came out with a new record, or it's mm -hmm. coming out, I coming should say. Uh, you're, you're working on it, completing it, and uh, much of it is already done, but you're working on that coming out later this summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the songs, actually your first single to Christian Radio, uh, Calling All Prodigals, is a song it's really near and dear to your heart yeah. because it speaks the way that you feel. Mm -hmm. You made mention of that earlier about how uh, people sing a song, nobody sings it like the writer does. Uh, Why is that? Because the writer knows where it came from. Yeah. <laughs> or we lived it. You know, yeah. <laughs> we Amen. lived to tell Amen. it. Amen. Yeah. So um, tell us about that song, uh, Calling, Calling All Prodigals. All prodigals. Yeah. Um, I wrote it with my friends Brent Baxter and Jason Cox. Jason and I have been writing for 11 years every Thursday. That's when sometimes Ashley will come and join us. Brent walked in with that idea and the and the rabbit trail about it. Uh, I think Jason was thinking it might be a country or song, grabbed his guitar, and I'm like, I don't know. And went to the piano and played, and whatever was happening in the room, we could all feel. But, but it's a powerful message because I think there are people, y'all, that feel like They've gone too far sure, that God won't forgive. Sure. They knew better, but they did it anyway. And God's not going to forgive it this time, not again. I mean, make me want to cry. And so when we wrote it, I remember I came to Christ when I was 18. And I, I knew who God was. I was around the church, but not in it. So I kind of knew who he was, but I'd never really surrendered mm -hmm. my heart to him. Yeah. But when I think about what Jesus was trying to teach us in that parable, it's Luke maybe 15 if you're at home. You'll have to Google that, but I think it's Luke 15. But when Jesus is trying to explain the kingdom of God and the heart of the Father, that's the story he tells. Yeah. Yeah. So when you see this, he sees that his son coming from a long way off and, and he runs to his child and he throws his arms around him. That's my Father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my God. Yeah. That, that whoever can come, whosoever will. Yes, that's right. And so to write that song, just to remind people, you're, 
Shame shouldn't keep you from turning around. Right. There's nothing he won't forgive when we give him that thing, That's you know, it. and repent and give that to him in the name of Jesus. And oh, so it's it's thrilling for me to sing. It's a message of hope. Yes, absolutely. It thrills me to sing it. Well, we're, we want you to sing for us. Today. Well, I hope I know the words. Uh, you know what? You can do it. I've got confidence in you. There you go. It. Hey, yes. Kenna's going to get ready in just a moment, and she's going to sing for us. And while she's going to the music set to get ready to sing tonight, I want to remind you uh, that you can call right now, the number on the screen. Maybe you're one of those prodigals. Maybe you're one of those people who is struggling right now, and, and you need God to help you. Uh, God's still able to do that. Yes, he's he not. Is. He's not forgotten you. He's not mad at you. He loves you. He cares for you, and he's waiting with arms open for you to run back to him. The phone is there on the screen now. You can call. There's an operator standing by. They'll speak with you. They'll pray with you. They'll lead you to Jesus if that needs to be necessary. But they're waiting on you tonight, and you can call. And so I hope that you'll do that. Those of you watching us, wherever you're watching from, God is right there with you right now. Whether you're in your car, whether you're at home, uh, whether you're at work, wherever, God is right there with you right now. And I hope that you're being blessed and encouraged by the music and the ministry of what we have to represent and to give to you here tonight. Let's let's hear Kenna sing. You ready? Uh, yes, I Welcome to Atlanta Live Music Set, Kenna Turner West to sing for you now. From 
troubles and all your mistakes A lifetime of heartaches and choices you made But just remember, the loss can be found Shame shouldn't keep you from turning around Calling all prodigals lost in the night The father is waiting with arms open wide There is forgiveness for every wandering soul Oh, he's calling all prodigals home Come home The Father is awaiting with arms open wide And there is forgiveness for every wandering soul Calling all prodigals lost in the night The Father is awaiting with arms open wide And there is forgiveness for every
was Kenna Turner West. Beautiful yes. job there yes. by our friend Kenna. It's been a great night. I it say. has been a really, really good Really good. Night. If you want to learn more about Kenna, you can go to her website, KennaTurnerWest.com. Mm -hmm. You'll find out more information there about her. Also, our friends, the Neelands, yes. just did another phenomenal job tonight, as they always do. You can find their information at thenealands.com. And I sure hope that you'll go and check both of those websites out. And let them know how much you've enjoyed the program tonight. It's been a wonderful program. And yeah. I'm thankful we've been able to be here and to host. I always yeah. enjoy coming <laughs> to beautiful Atlanta, Georgia, and being a part of uh, this wonderful evening. You know, I feel in my spirit, we ought to pray for the people sure. tonight. Uh, maybe there's someone who's struggling. Maybe there's someone uh, who needs God to help them tonight in their situations and their problems. And so I want us to pray for them. I want us to ask the Lord to help them tonight. Uh, maybe, you know, uh, as we see the, uh, the day that has approached us, the things that are happening now, uh, we see so many things that are happening and uh, I want them to be encouraged. Yeah. I want them to know that everything's going to be okay. Yeah. And regardless of the situation, regardless of the problem, regardless of what you're going through tonight, I want you to know that our God is able Amen. and that he is in control and that whatever you need, you can find it in the Lord Jesus Christ. Man is looking for all kinds of things and, and uh, ways to satisfy his soul, to feel that emptiness and that void within his heart. I want you to know tonight that it is in Christ Jesus right. and in Jesus Christ alone. And so tonight, I want you to be encouraged. I want you to come to him. I want you to be, maybe you're one of those prodigals that Kenneth sang about. Uh, maybe you're one of those tonight uh, that the Neelands sing about. You need that grace. You need that freedom right. in your heart and in your life. It's there. It's available. You've just got to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. I want to pray a prayer first. Sure. For those who are lost, I want to pray this prayer. And if you're watching, I want you to know a prayer cannot save you, but your faith in Christ Jesus right. can tonight. And as I pray this prayer, you can repeat it after me. This prayer cannot save you, but I promise you it'll lead you to the Lord Jesus Christ. And from there, you'll be able to extend your prayer and your faith to him, right. and he'll come into your heart. You pray this, dear God in heaven, I realize that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm lost. I know that I need you. And I ask you, Jesus, to come into my heart and into my life. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my wrongs. I know the life that I have lived has not been pleasing unto you. But at this moment and at this hour, I'm asking you, Lord Jesus, to come in to my heart and to live. And because of my profession of faith in Christ, I believe at this moment I am washed. I am cleansed, I am forgiven, Amen. and I am saved in Jesus' Amen. name. If you prayed that prayer, there's an operator standing by. You call tonight. We want to hear from you. If you're watching us Facebook or YouTube, you comment and you let someone know that you prayed that prayer and you asked Jesus into your heart. Now, Lord God, I pray for all these that are watching, those who are struggling, those who are walking through trials, those who are walking through their troubles. God, just the life within itself. Lord, these that need your help, I pray that you help them, that you'll go to them right now, wherever they are, whatever that they need, let them find you. Jesus Christ and let them come to you. I ask these things in thy precious holy name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. What a great program again we've had tonight. Hey, check out the Neelands online, KennaTurnerWest.com and then last but not least Josh and Ashley right. Franks.com <laughs> World Wide Web. There's yeah. all of these on social media. They have all the social media platforms. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, Just Google them. Google it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> 
Just go to Google and <laughs> check it all out. We've had a wonderful time right here from beautiful Atlanta, Georgia tonight, and we'll look forward to being back with you again right here again. Until next time, remember to feed your faith and starve your doubts to death. God bless you. See you soon. Good night.